Vanchaka, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Sometimes customers ask me why their AWS DMS replication instance is in storage full status and how they can get their instance out of it. There are common reasons for the storage full status. Replication instance storage is used mostly for task logs and cache changes that are collected for ongoing replication. Task logs can instantly cause storage full issues if there are many task logs, especially if you enabled detailed debug logging for a task. A replication instance can lead into storage full status during full load phase for comma delimited CSV based targets like MySQL, Redshift, PostgreSQL, and so on, where the CSV files are initially stored on the replication instance storage. Other reasons which might lead to storage full status are explained in the document attached. Now let me walk you through the resolution for this. If the replication instance is in available status, you can delete the logs. After logging into the AWS management console, navigate to the DMS console. Choose replication instances from the navigation pane. Choose the name of the replication instance. From the log management section, you see all the tasks and the log size of each task. To delete the logs, the task must be in failed or stopped status. Select the tasks with the logs you want to delete and then choose delete. If the replication instance is in storage full status, you can't delete logs. You need to either increase the allocated storage size or delete the replication task. To increase the storage size of a replication instance, choose the replication instance from the re navigation pane. Choose the name of the replication instance that you want to modify the volume size for. Choose modify. For the allocated storage, field enter a new value. Select apply changes immediately and choose modify. This gives the replication instance more storage so it will come out of storage full state. As a best practice, you can always keep monitoring the Amazon CloudWatch metric for free storage space to keep an eye on the free storage space of the replication instance to avoid letting it go into the storage full status in the future. If you are still having issues and you were previously directed by AWS support to use the extra connection attribute ECA keep CSV files equal to Y, which means that all the CSV files are stored permanently on the replication instance for troubleshooting, you can't delete these files you will have to contact AWS support. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.